Hey, how are you keeping? And your loved ones? Fantastic. So I wanted to take a moment to talk about money. And and this is, is, is different from most things I've done because I'm asking. No, I'm not asking for money. Listen, listen, listen. Pay attention. Don't go anywhere. There are three conversations, maybe four, that we are having all the time. Health and not just COVID-19. Big conversation for all of us. Money, making it, finding it, getting it, keeping it, growing it, investing it. But that That's very central. And because we're talking more about money and money is a lot more on our minds and on our tongues, we're probably talking about money at home as well to our children, which is where you come in. But the other thing we're talking about, of course, is education and I think relationships. I have a friend who is um, a wedding planner who told me, you know, Caroline, people who actually want to get married are getting married, but people who want weddings are waiting. I was like, wow, wow. Um, why do I want to talk about money and our children? Because I think COVID gives us an opportunity to have that conversation in a, in a powerful manner, in an empowering manner, not a reducing way. You know, we need to have it that way. And for me, it is part of, um, how do I say this? Of things I want you to come out to the other side of COVID um, better at. So what are the things I'm doing? Just pack, pack that. And the fact that I'm asking, okay, this is a good ask. And, and let's talk about things we're equipping and upskilling our children with. So for example, and I will use my home and I'll use my daughter. Um, over the last two months, she gets uh, two baking kits from Caroline's Cupcakes because she has to bake or make something from scratch. Why do I spend the money? Because I want her to do this. I want her to learn a skill and perfect it. So in two months, my daughter's uh, banana bread is exquisite. Her pizzas, oh my goodness, and her cupcakes. Her cookies, yeah, but you know what? You can't have everything, all right? Two weeks ago, Juna Vidyati sent me something he calls a nature craft box. Juna, I hope that's what you call it. So it's 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 a box that comes with two sides of it. Um, craft, which is very art related and you make something and it comes with the glue stick and the colored tissue paper. In the case of the box I got, uh, little wooden sticks, you know, also the, 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 the craft was to make a windsock. Juna, you know, I had to explain to her what that was, eh? You gave me work. But the other part of the box is the nature, and that comes with two little pots and soil. Do you know we have soil? Okay. And soil and seeds. And um, there was a sunflower seeds and there was nyayo beans. So my daughter grew the sunflower and my son did the nyayo beans. So you can imagine uh, three, four days of constantly waking up in the morning to look to look. And then one day the bean did kutu and happiness ensued. And now I've given everybody a small plot of land. It's the size of a slab, but it is land and other things are happening there. Growing is happening and my gardener is just wonderful. He's helping and he's just so happy that they're doing this. And I'm happy too. Um, I have seen on Facebook that little Einstein's has also got like, uh, I don't know, an activity kit. My daughter loves the sciences. So we're doing that thing, you know, so I'm going to either call them and do that annoying mother thing or like, Ebu, tell me. And then it does what? And it, it costs how much? Why? And then I'll order one. But I need to know that it's something she is going to enjoy learning and experimenting with. Um, the other thing we've done, and this one I'm doing myself, is that we're doing, um, we're learning how to use a needle. So we've done a button, we're darning, you know, uh, with a tacking stitch, and I am in the process of now teaching her backstitch. Okay. Um, I think it's an important skill. I can't thread a needle. People, uh, eyesight, I cannot thread a needle. I, and I've got, I've got my, oh, my new glasses came from Jeff's. How gorgeous are these? How awesome are these? I know. Anyway, I cannot thread a needle. So my daughter does it and then we, we're doing this. And I, and I wanted to upscale her, the way she earns money. So she's always had to make money for certain things. Ooh, relax. I am not a bad woman. 
So I don't buy candy. That one, either your aunties give it to you or your grandparents give you or you buy your own. So from the time she was about five, she loved chewing gum. I hate gum, by the way. I think it's a very, very, very messy thing with children. I think adults can handle gum. Well, not all adults, huh? All you have to do is feel under any restaurant table and you know adults can't handle gum. But she loved it and I was like, I don't have a problem. You need to buy it for yourself. So she used to earn money for getting her sight words right. Yeah, and then for spellings. And remember at that time we we're doing k -at, cat, dog, hat, hen, that stuff. So, and then when she started reading those tiny books, she'd earn 10 shillings. I've grown it to 20 shillings. I grew it, I think, when she was in year two, year three. It was 20 shillings. It's now 50 because now she's reading dog diaries, so substantive. But once again, she must come to me and tell me what the story was, okay? So you can't just read and say, Mama, can I have money? No, you come back to me, you tell me the story, okay? So let's like a book report. Um, I pay for well-made beds. You know, when the edges are well tucked in and your bathroom is neat and your towel is not on the floor. But I pay that um, cumulatively. This must have happened continuously for three to four days. It can't be a one-off and then I give you money. No, I'm trying to create a habit. So I pay for that. Um, I pay for anything she does that is helpful. You know, if she helps with dishes, helps with clearing up her our pantry, helps with her brother, I'll pay for that. But because I need her to get onto bigger things, because this doc diary thing she's on, this also comes with apparel. She read t-shirts, she read nina. There's things I don't buy. I buy food, I fuel cars, I pay for medical insurance, I give us a home to live in. Kuna vitu misi nunwangi, mukai mukijua. But I have to upscale how she makes the money, okay? And now I'm brain blocked. So when I started this conversation saying it's about money and I, I, I want to ask you, how do I grow the things she can do so she can grow the money she can earn? Okay, she understands the giving part because um, I have to thank the school she went to and the school I went to. So giving is a part of how we are. Okay, so donating is big. Um, saving, I don't think she saves. She's a miser. Mm. She's the one who makes the money, makes the money, and then thinks about it and says, no, I won't buy myself that thing because my grandfather will. You know what I mean? So she already figured that part out. Okay? Um, so I'm not quite sure my daughter saves. She's a miser. But it's okay. She knows how to keep money. Um, investing, I, I don't know how we do that. Yeah. But I want to use, so we are on holiday, uh, officially because we follow the international school curriculum. So school's over. It's July, August. And I want, by the time I come to the end of these two months, I have grown her again. And I want to do that around earning money, using money, understanding money. Okay, because I've got I've got the kitchen covered. I've got so what I call life skills, you know, beds, bathrooms, um, help, donations. So we've cleared out, you know, our our wardrobes. What else are you going to do in COVID times? You clear out wardrobes. We've donated stuff. Um, but that's that's kind of standard with us, you know, like she usually has to clear her toys um, by the last week of November because her birthday is, is, is the first first week, yeah, 8th of December. And I'm always very clear, you can't have new presents if you don't create room for them to come. Okay, so that's how we work. So for me, money is, is you know, understanding it, working with it. So I'm asking, I've given you all my ideas, baking. I've given you Caroline's baking kits from Caroline's Cupcakes. I've told you about Juna. I've um, told you about Little Einsteins. I've told you that we're doing, you know, darning and backstitch and we're doing buttons. You know, just things that she will need in life. You, you can't always act like there will be housekeepers. Those are my people, by the way. <laughs> hey! And I keep reminding them, these are my people, you know? But um, on the money front, mm, Nimefika, as far as I can go, as on my own. So this is where you help me. What are some of the ones you know? And they've got to be um, exciting and also 
very engaging and challenging you know i i'm also very aware she's gonna be 10 so there are things that she was happy to do when she was five six seven that are mundane right now okay so the challenge is also important it's very very important and if it can have a tech element to it these kids they are literally digital natives even better i mean you know she she earns her screen time as well hey, but there's very little that is free in my house eh? hey, you want to come and live with me kuja vilona kuja look after yourself take care of those you love and you know like i said tell me how we do this how do we do the money conversation and raise it um, so it's not a reducing conversation. It's 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 an abundance conversation with our children. And what do we do? Med on to your theory. Vitu things must be done. For me, things must be done. Yeah? Be good. And it, no, I can't thread a needle. I, I have no apologies to make. I'm old. I, even when I wear these things. So here's the worst thing. I wear them. Mm -hmm, and then I do this thing. that You know, like a mama It's just sad. It's just sad. Bye.